Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, yeah. Um, let's do some uh, reporting. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to build a report. Let me see here. Just thinking about it. See what to do with the uh, with the video. So uh, let me show you what I was thinking earlier, like for the past for the past hour. Um, yeah, let's take a look at this. What I want to do here is to um, is to list the sum of the uh, lottery costs. Sum of the lottery costs per month. All right. Uh, I've got a problem that can be solved easily. All right. So let's take a look at the uh, from. Let's take a look at the ticket first. Uh, ticket in a join. Ticket pick because the pick determines the cost. Ticket pick. So we're gonna gonna show you what I am thinking that we can do. So that there, and then. If you query this, I'll just go ahead and query this. Uh, we have ticket cost right here. That is what I'm interested. We want to sum this cost um, by year, by month from this date, and then per member. So. In order to do that, in order to do that, I can do this. First, I will need a member. That's what I'm interested in. Second, I will need a date. Uh, ticket date. Third, I want to sum this guy cost, and I'll call that. And I'll call that um, ticket cost. And now I just need to group this guy. I know it's got timestamp here. So um, I'll go ahead and do uh, cast to date. Ticket date. All right, and then we are going to uh, we're going to group by that. Uh, as date. And if we take a look at it now, we'll see a member, a date, and the cost. That's a total. Now this sum right here of, for all the tickets. All right, for all the tickets, not just one, because each ticket could have many. Uh, each ticket could have many picks in it. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so uh, well, that's uh, that's not right. We should get some number here on the right hand side here. Uh, let's see, some cost. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at this. Let's take this casting out. Wonder if that casting out is prevented. Yeah, let's let's take this casting out. Yeah, try that. Um, see if that works. That's that didn't work. Um, okay. Well, uh, we know tickets got. Uh, take a look at this again here, because uh, we should get. Uh, oh, duh. Okay, I know why. Let's go back. I think I know why there. You see that? So, 
just caught caught myself. Just caught myself. Uh, there's no such thing as t uh cost there. So we're gonna do well. There is, but we can do the p cost. All right. So that should have been the p cost. Anyway, let's try that again. That should uh, give us something. There you go. Uh, there is a uh, cost in the ticket. All right. That's only after it's processed. So, but uh, anyway, this is the individual cost. All right. So this ticket here equals that. Uh, let's see what else can we do here. So what I want to do here <clears throat> is to get a ticket year, month, January, February, March. We're gonna do. We're gonna have to use a pivot table here. Right, let me show you how to use a pivot table. Uh, in order to do a pivot table, we've got this guy right here. Remember, do 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 do. So what I could do here. What I could do here, instead of casting to date, I could do this. Let's say year. And then change this guy to calendar year. And then do the same ticket date. And then this is this will be month. Actually, this is gonna be, a, let's format this guy to so um, and that will be calendar month and if we execute that ooh, eh, what happened oh okay um, got you Got you. So what needs to happen here? I need to add this. Uh, I need to add that list to a group by, and then take the name out. All right, let's try that again. That should be good. There. So that's what we want now. What we want is to turn this month into uh, columns. January, February, and so on and so forth. So here is where we uh, here is where we uh, get a little fancy with this uh, query. I'm gonna show you how to do a pivot table. All right. So to do a pivot table, we're gonna have to select. Matter of fact. We're gonna put. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna surround this guy. This is main table here. Main table. I'm gonna call this main table. And then we're gonna pivot. And we're gonna call this pivot table. Now you don't have to use this name. I mean, you have. Yeah, you kind of have to, but you just don't use that alias. All right. So we want to. We want to sum uh, ticket cost for uh, calendar month in, and this will be the field. All right, so now we can say select um, we'll select uh, member ID. That's what we have, member ID. And I'm gonna select calendar year. Let's see what else do I need. We don't need the month because the month is going to turn into January, February. So let's go ahead and type that there. Let's test out the uh, January. February, March, 
And let's do just June right there for a test. All right. And now we're going to go to uh, from. All right. Now, I, yeah, let me take this T out. We don't need the T there. Like so. And then I'm going to copy this booger right here. Copy in this guy right here. See that? Now we have the same column. All right, we're going to turn this calendar month into this January, February. And these right here are just selecting from whatever we have in the list here. All right. So this right here comes from here. That comes from that. All right, let's take a look, see what it looks like. Look at that. Now we can trim down like so instead of have a long list. Instead of have a long list like so, let me show you. See how it gets longer and longer. And this will be repeated, all right? Now, instead of doing that, we're just going to cram everything down into months. Instead, instead of have, having a repeated month, for instance. See there? We got that same ID right there. And we can go, yeah, let's, you know what, let's go further. Let's continue with this, uh, um, June, April, May, oh, March, June, March, April, I got that thing wrong right there. Let's take that out. You were wondering what it was doing, all right? So, yeah. So this would be June. Yeah. <laughs> now it's July. It's wondering, right? August. Like I didn't know my my months. <laughs> I do know my month. Yeah. All right. So October. November, December. Yeah, I do know my month, guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this thing from March all the way out to the end there, because see how it's uh, it say, hey, wait, wait a minute, I don't see these names right here in the select in the uh, pivot table. So we're gonna say, okay, now you are there. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's take a look at these now. We should have, yeah, we should have 12 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Click, look at that. So now, that would be dandy, wouldn't it? That would be dandy. So now you can turn nothing into, uh, yeah, pivot table instead of have a long list. Now we can change, we can join, do more join here to get the actual name of the member. All right, so um, I'm gonna do more join in here. So I'm gonna tag that guy. And yeah, I'm gonna tag that guy and join. Looks like I can get the member right there, M on member. Uh, member ID. Uh, let's see. T, -t, 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 T. Member ID. And now I can say, uh, instead of member there, I can say, I can say member M, member number. I'm going to tag everything in there first name last name uh, member name now I have to change that right there in the column list that we want now we should get a good one right here ooh hold on hold your horses 
Oh, your horses, what happened? Uh, member, member number is in Mali in the select. Oh, got you, got you. So right here in the group bar right here, I want to make sure that I have this uh, member number, first name and last name, all right? So anytime you're using this in the select list, you got to put that in the group by if you're doing a group by, all right? For instance, for instance, the member number, the first name and the last names required in here, all right? So um, I'm just going to copy the whole shebang here. Copy that and just, and I'm going to trim down what I don't need. All right, so I'm going to trim down this guy, take all that out, put a comma there. So that's, uh, yeah, that's part of uh, programming or, you know, working with SQL is you need to know what, what is the requirement. And if you look at the, you know, look at the error, uh, you would, you would recognize what it is and then you can fix it right away. You know, that comes with experience. So if you see the error, it will tell you exactly what it is and you will recognize it if you've done enough. <laughs> <laughs> if you have done enough programming, you'll find it easily. All right, see, see what we got there? And now we can turn this into our um, report builder. All right, and turn into a report builder. Uh, so I'm going to leave that there and let's open up our report builder. And I'm just going to close that for now. All right. Uh, let's see what uh, report we can uh, use here. <clears throat> so we got tickets by member. With filter. We don't need filter. How about tickets by member? Let's take a look at this one. Do we have this guy? Let's take a look at that one. Oh, okay. Got you. Um, I'm not really interested in anything. All right. I just want to use the fields. <laughs> I just want to use the report layout. So this comes with the group and all that. And we can take them out. All right. We can take them out. But what I'm interested in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, you know what? Let's start all over again. Because I don't want to, yeah. It's just probably easier if we, uh, if we start all over again. All right. I'm going to hide the, param uh, the parameter uh, there. We don't need it. Let's, uh, let's remove all these guys right here. Or even the footer. Let's remove the footer. All right, that's what we are left with. So let's uh, let's build the uh, new data set. I'm gonna use this guy right here that we not uh, been using. Uh, it's a lottery pool. All right, let's test it out. Good. That was quick. That's unusual. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to need to uh, redo that again. Well, it's all right. I was going to do the uh, DS right there in the back, but that's OK. All right, so let's add data set. And let's call this um, ticket cost by member. Yeah. Yeah, how about ticket cost? Yep. Sounds right. Ticket cost by member. And then this is record source. And then we're going to use um, database embedded. I'm going to select this database and I'm going to come over here. I wonder if it's going to recognize my query here. Copy. It should. It should. And you can put that shebang in there and refresh field and look at that 
now all we have to do is just put the whole thing in there all right so we're gonna do um yeah you know what i'm gonna take that out all right uh so let's continue we're gonna add the table in here uh let's insert a table and then gonna see if we can move that booger uh, come on uh, takes a little didn't I didn't know it take you know you have to be talented moving that table <laughs> so let's uh, move this guy over and we should be good there uh, that January tap March oops April We got one more. Um, yeah, let's move this guy back a little bit here. Last one. All right, let's take a look. We're going to take a look at this guy, and it should be pretty, pretty good. We can also group uh, some of these guys. Well, we can't sum this guy. It doesn't make sense. All right, it does not make sense. Let's go to home. Let's run. There you go. So you can, uh, yeah, you can turn your um, columns into rows. That's what uh, that's what would happen. Uh, you see that we got uh, calendar year here, and it's oh, it's sorted too by number. Yeah, cool beans. And then, yeah, we can we can make this guy. Yeah, let's go to design. We're gonna we're gonna make this guy uh, wider all right like so and that looks good that looks good uh one thing I want to do I wonder if I can you know get these names right here uh, mm, yeah let's do this see if that works um, I'm gonna put it's no Put zero in there all right see if that works we, we are going to look at this first January here this last one right here that should be zero if there you go so we can go ahead and put the uh, it's no in there it's no we put all that zero it just doesn't make you know it doesn't look right so we're gonna do that This looks nicer instead of having empty uh, space or yeah no value input zero there We're almost done. Oops, where did it go? Oh, got you. It kind of pushes over. Okay. Um. Now the question is, will it uh, spit out the month? <laughs> will it spit out the month? We'll find out when we oops. Cause usually when you you know when you dress up your your column here, you you have to rename your column. 
see if these columns why he, this column names were here remain all right let's take a look see that no column name you see that this is exactly what i was fearing about <laughs> all right so i can copy that put it right behind this guy copy that so a lot of time when you dress up your your uh dress up your column decorate your column you have to uh, make sure you uh rename that guy give it an alias otherwise it's going to say no column name all right like i show you here but luckily this is pretty easy all you have here is copy that name there because they're the same we're going to copy uh, put right behind it and that should be good that should just give us what we want all right so just remember that anytime you dress up your cal column whether it be format whether it be whatever it is anytime you work on that column name um it's going to give you no column name all right make sure you give it the name that's just like i did here all right it should be good now see there and we get zeros on the no values so let's recopy that copy and let's pop back to all our report and we're going to go to a data set double click on that uh, oh, not there double click on that double set and then way down here is that refresh and now if we run it all empty spaces will be zero see there nice all right we're gonna change this to uh this uh columns right here into uh into cu uh, currency so uh, let's see if i can uh what i want to do here is uh all the way here i'm gonna grab the whole shebang here all the way to here all the way there Uh, I think there's got to be a better way to do that. There. And then change that to cal currency. And that should do it. That should do it. Alright. So let's take a look at one more time. There you go. So that's what we have. Um, yeah. And that looks n needier. That look that yeah that really looks needier. That looks better than than looking at this right here. Let me show you. Then looking at uh, join right here. See there. That looks a whole lot better because some of these Januarys repeated. All right, repeated because because um yeah if you're in the same year you bought tickets twice and in that month you have repeated items right there but with this you can just turn the whole thing and sum everything into uh into months all right this may be uh for for the month see there it says for the calendar month uh that's that. That's another way of, uh, you know, doing the pivot table, turning your columns into rows, all right, of records. So, hope you enjoy it. But before I do that, let's, uh, you know what, I'm going to save this guy. And then we're going to call this uh, tickets, tickets cost by a month. And that sounds more like it. Safe. Mm, oh yeah that's going to save onto the report okay we'll do that that's fine and then we'll save onto our desktop as well save let's go desktop uh, right there and then we're going to save all right now let's open up the uh let's open up all our report server we should have that extra report 
that we just built. Uh, let's see right here. That's a new ticket right there. So let's take a look. Look at that. So that's what we have. Is uh, yeah. Um, that has a lot to do with the numbers. So that's good. And then you can you can obviously, you know, uh, do another one samba calendar year you can have a total back here yeah you can have a total back here that would be awesome wouldn't it you know what I was gonna finish but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get a total behind there see if I can get a total behind there what would be the easiest way to do here? Yeah, um, let's get a little fancy. Let's uh, total these guys up January all the way over here. And we can call this uh, calendar total. What do you think about that? I think we can do it. All right. So we got this thing laid now with the report. Now. Let's uh, let's tackle another one. I am going to uh, I'm going to copy the entire thing here all the way to Right about there. I'm going to copy that uh, We got this guy right here. We can do inner join All right, and then I'm going to surround that with the parentheses paste that guy in there um, And I'm gonna call this uh, Total yeah, let's call that total on total about member name equals um, equals uh, pivot table member name. You see there? And, and we got to have an N here. Calendar year equals um, pivot table calendar year. See there? That, that's going to be right there. So now all we are interested in is the cost here. And we are not interested in the calendar month. So I'm going to take that booger out. There. And then we'll call this calendar cost. I think that's going to work. All right. Now let's fix this guys right here. Let's call this a med pivot. Pivot. Um, table and then this same here we're gonna add pivot alias there that looks good right there now all we have to do is just tag that booger right there behind there and this is total calendar year cost see there now let's take a look, see if that does what we want and we can just, we should see another column right there on the, on the end here. All right. Uh, so let's run. Look at that. <laughs> now that is pretty nifty. All right. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's grab this guy right here. I like it. I like it. Copy. Get back to our report here. Let's fix this all data set here. And then uh, I'm gonna yeah, yeah I'm gonna take the whole thing out. Make sure it has none there. And let's refresh. Good. We should see another calendar cost. All right. Now let's uh, pull that guy right there on the end. Look at that. Good. All right. Let's go to uh, let's save this guy. Save that guy. Also save to. Uh, save as also save to this guy right here All right like so now let's take a look matter of fact we gotta yeah we got it right here so let's refresh that we should have another column right here calendar cost does it add up 
Alright, 40. 185. Good. Good. Let's make this guy a a uh, a currency as well. Let's make that guy a currency. So that is basically you know that's not too bad. Um basically that's how it is. It's not that you know it it uh yeah it uh it's um how should I say this? Um little brainstorming. Alright? Kinda of have to come up with ways to do things sometimes. Alright, we're gonna overwrite that, save that, make sure we have it. Take a look at it again. Ticket member, ticket member. Uh, what was it? Take cost by month right here. Look at that. Let's see if we can make that guy small there. I like it. What do you think, guys? Now, obviously, you can color that header right there. Let's dress it up a little bit and then we'll just call it a day. All right, so that that looks good right there. Uh, yeah, building report. A lot of time you just have to, uh, you know, uh, think think through what you really really want to do. All right, I'm gonna call it that. I'm gonna highlight that. Highlight that guy. Maybe get a little uh, little fancy with this thing. Come on, come on, give me the uh, okay. Uh, don't want it to be too dark right here I like this white smoke right here there save that also save that to um, to this guy like so um, yeah like like I said um, it's uh, not that big a deal um, you just have to come up with ways to do things, you know, sometimes. And, you know, like myself, you know, I have to come up with ways to do things when I'm asked to. <laughs> when I'm asked to. So, gotta get, the, gotta get the work done. But that's how you turn a column into row. See there? See these numbers right here, January. February actually coming come from the uh, from the value that we extracted from right this value right here uh, that value right there we we'll just format that into the calendar uh, into the month name and then we we'll use that month name as a header you see that we we'll use that month name as a header and it recognizes oh okay you are this I'm gonna put value in there for you you know so but that's that I hope you enjoyed the uh, report thanks for watching bye